When you need flexible and modularity without conflicting with main logic then decorate a design pattern help. So let's start explain it. What is Decorator Design Pattern? Decorator is a structural design pattern that lets you attach new behaviors to objects by placing these objects inside special wrapper objects that contain the behaviors. In object-oriented programming, the Decorator Pattern is a design pattern that allows behavior to be added to an individual object, dynamically, without affecting the behavior of other objects from the same class. The decorator pattern is often useful for adhering to the single responsibility principle, as it allows functionality to be divided between classes with unique areas of concern. Decorator use can be more efficient than subclassing, because an object's behavior can be augmented without defining an entirely new object. What problems can it solve? Responsibilities should be added to, and removed from, an object dynamically at runtime. A flexible alternative to subclassing for extending functionality should be provided. When it's good to use Decorator design pattern. There are few cases when you can use Decorator. When we have an object that requires the extension X. A window control that requires additional optional features like scroll bars, title bar and status bar. When several objects that support the extension by decoration. Usually, those objects share a common interface, traits, or superclass, and sometimes, additional, intermediate superclasses. The decorated object, class or prototype instantiation, and the decorator objects have one or several common features. In order to ensure that functionality, the decorated object and the decorators have a common interface, traits, or class inheritance. How to use Decorator Design Pattern Decorator Design Pattern allows us to dynamically add functionality and behavior to an object without affecting the behavior of other existing objects within the same class. We use inheritance to extend the behavior of the class. This takes place at compile time, and all the instances of that class get the extended behavior. Decorator design pattern is useful in many situations however it's an extra layer of abstraction and we may lose the information about result. That mean it's good idea to use that in asynchronous programming or when we need a lot of flexibility. Where could you find useful decorator design pattern? We recommend you stick to the end, and watch all our videos in the playlist. Check sources of this video in the description, where you can find more information. Leave the like, comment and subscribe, and share it with friends that want to improve programming skills. Thank you for watching, especially for all subscribers, and see you in the next video.